guys, Canadian Zangief back again, and this time I'm going to be looking at the standard slash commander Gray's uh, 1 100 uh, IBO uh, model kit. Um, I actually live streamed this uh, when I was putting it together and uh, finished it off, and you know, finished, uh, did some detailing, and it was it was a pretty simple, satisfying build, I have to say. Um, one big thing that I did not like about it was the feet but uh, I ended up figuring out a little bit of a solution um, modded up uh, some custom feet from some third-party Bionicle and uh, it turned out pretty nice um, let's take a look let's see how she turned out So all in all, I'm pretty happy the way this ended up. Like I, the color on the f custom feet that I did are, uh, it's pretty close. You know, you could tell it's a little bit off. Um, you might be able to tell a little bit easier on the video than you can actually in person because it looks pretty close after the weathering, at least in my opinion. Um, so pretty happy with this. It's a nice and kind of gritty looking, like a basic militaristic kind of design. Um, kind of like a New Age Zacco, I guess, you know, mass production. You know, I thought it was cool. Uh, I, I wish there was more options for a lot of the IBO um, model kits where there's an alternative to the high heeled feet look. You know, I couldn't stand that. I. As soon as I finished putting it together and I saw how bad the high heeled feet looked, to me anyways, I really didn't like that. I had to think of a way that I could change it. There, uh, There is a couple um, 3D printing options that you can do for it, but 3D printing, you know, there's a lot more work for it than uh, I originally, you know, thought about um, since I have done a couple 3D printing things since... Uh, uh, doing this model and it's a lot of work involved like sanding and getting it perfect and everything and uh, Salvaging parts from another Toy or model kit is so much easier, you know, like dr all I had to do was dremel like a small hole um, At the joint and it fits like perfectly uh, it fits in the original, you know um, ball joint um, So I, I think it's great but uh, let me what you think. Uh, have you uh, done any of the IBO kits? And how do you feel about the high heel look? 
you know, I could just be alone on that, you know, or maybe more people don't find that as aesthetically pleasing. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.